Welcome, Miss Patricia Love. Miss Patricia Love, she's a women's motivational and confidence coach. Wow, that's that's incredible. And who has advised top realtors, CEOs, and entrepreneurs um, and help unlock their inner power and creative experience with abundance. So uh, my goodness, uh, Patricia, we're so delighted to have you. Thank you for being with us and uh, inspire us with your tips and connections that make us better people. Uh, we oh, appreciate well, you. Thank well, you. thanks for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity and just listening to everybody. It's just such a delight to pick up more information and get some wonderful tips because I'm always learning and always growing. And that's mm -hmm. something that's part of me now. Um, but I did uh, write a book and mm -hmm. uh, it is called You Saw Picture of It. It is called, that's backwards, but Seen and Unheard. And mm -hmm. it uh, primarily, uh, just for you who don't know me, is a, um, it's a memoir of my life. Um, but the stories that I write in my book are, could be your story, could be a spouse's story, could be a partner's story, a daughter or a friend, but it's directed at women who actually have felt in their lives dismissed, um, marginalized and overlooked, um, either in their careers or in their personal lives. And because overall women have been conditioned um, over the years to believe that they are less than um, or, or not as qualified as maybe somebody else. So the book actually supports um, women um, to help them reflect on their own personal stories because I, in the book I have a, I go through it as far as my story, but it gets them to start thinking about their own story and maybe how they can change it mm -hmm. and, um, and help ignite their own power within to make a change at any, any age. And I say that because I did it at the age of 57. Um, and that was now, oh my God, I hate to, 13 years ago, <laughs> almost 14. Very good, very good. And, um, and the, it's so important. It was very important for me to get this book out because my life was full of bad behaviors, you mm -hmm. might say. But a lot of that starts as a child. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is learned because as a children, we learn what we live. Sure, and so sure. it's important that all children and, and young women and young men too, and young kids and little boys and girls start their lives off well. So they have an opportunity to, to finish with success. Mm -hmm. And, um, but through my life, there's just stories of, gosh, I mean, I can basically tell you, I was at 57, I was broke, broken um, and on the floor, I had was one hundred forty thousand dollars in debt. It was two thousand nine. It was when I was a realtor, so the market just you know blew out. And at the time, I was really good at making money, but I was also really good at spending money. And I was on the downside <laughs> of it. Okay, and also my husband had left me for somebody else. I was forty pounds overweight, and everything to me was at the end. I mean, I had. I, in my book, I talk about how we place our feelings in, in uh, baggage. And mm -hmm. sometimes that baggage gets so full mm -hmm. that it bursts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times with, with people in general, they carry around things. They don't talk about things. And, and a lot of this is what I like to talk about is mind fitness. Because if we don't chat about and let our own feelings and understandings you know, be seen and heard, um, we just stuff everything away. Mm -hmm. And it blows up sometimes and not at always in a good way. But for me, it, um, it was my life and I wouldn't change it any other way at this point because it's taken to me, even at learning at the age of 57 is now taken me to where I am today, which is you know being a life coach for women, encouraging them, becoming an NLP, which is a neuro linguistics programmer, an EFT, which is a person of tapping, um, and also writing a best-selling book, which has become my platform to help other women and men to be seen and heard. Because right now in today's world, we're on hamster wheels, right? Mm -hmm. And we, and as we, I heard somebody else speak about, we need to get off those hamster wheels and because we're taught in so many ways and we have to learn to disrupt those negative behaviors, which I finally had to do. And I did them um, with, with a lot of... Uh, 
work, you might say. You always, you know, nothing is easy, right? But I, I came up with five words that I live by today. And those words are acknowledge, forgiveness, mindset, accountability, perseverance. And I always add a bonus one, which is the most important at all, and it's gratitude. Mm -hmm. And I live by these words every single day. Now, it took me a while to work, work through them because acknowledging sometimes your own truths and your own negatives that maybe you are maybe a little judgmental or maybe you just weren't um, as good at business as you thought you were, or maybe your finances weren't good. Or you have to acknowledge things. And a lot of times that's the hardest thing for people to do is acknowledge <laughs> their own truth, right? Mm -hmm. I had to forgive people for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. And in my twenties, I was, uh, had some very uh, bad sexual traumas Mm -hmm. And I had to learn to forgive those people. And a lot of people will say, well, how do you forgive? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't forget. You just forgive because you're taking back your power and mm -hmm. your energy to move you mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. I had to change my mindset. I had to you know, create a mind fitness of a, a positive one and move forward and live, for, live in the moment and today and be happy with what I had. Because at the moment, I didn't have anything because I, I was wondering if I was going to be homeless within a month. So mm -hmm. it was a matter of living every single day and then being accountable to myself, being accountable to, hey, I can't depend on everybody to call me up and say, hey, you're fabulous. I had mm -hmm. to learn to tell myself I was fabulous and I mm -hmm. had to do it every single day. And then I had to persevere one step at a time. And I heard somebody say that just a minute ago about, I think it was you, Nora, just being one moment at a time, one step at a time, but that put me that much further. And of course, Gratitude, gratitude for not just the word. And I say this deeply because I hear so many people and they say, I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for that. But are you really grateful? When I say that, I mean deep, deep gratefulness. I'm grateful for being on this podcast and being on with you guys and this moment, meeting you. That's to me grateful. I'm grateful for having the internet that actually is functioning right now because it went off a minute ago, <laughs> you know, that's, you know, this moving yeah. forward. Mm -hmm. So for me, my goal is to, is to help women be empowered every single day and men, but also to start with children that, that need it to start strong and not start like I started with an alcoholic mom and a, mm -hmm. and a, a father that was left me alone. So mm -hmm. It's, it's something that we need to begin at the beginning so that the young people can finish, you know, start and then finish strong. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the, having the time to just chat about this. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to get to know people like mm -hmm. you that have uh, goals in life that, uh, that want, you want to inspire others too, because mm -hmm. health and wellness is so critically important and mindset, mind fitness is critical to us moving forward, especially in this world right now when there's so much going on. So thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Uh, Patricia, no, thank you. We really appreciate you being with us and what you've shared with us and your story. Oh, it sounds incredible and royal. I mean, and you look so, you know, incredible, you know, according to <laughs> all your experiences. But you, you, uh, from your description, it sounds like it's made you tough made you smoothly it, 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 it's, I like to call it resilience you okay, know I mean okay, but, life, but life throws obstacles at all of us right sure, and it's sure, really how sure. we react to them and how we move forward with them and That's not right. blame anybody else and not become mm -hmm. the victim but move well, forward well, yeah, yours is an amazing story and we'd love to share these plus more regarding your book uh, I mean uh, I mean seen and unheard Thank what an amazing book. I mean, I can only imagine the, the, the items that you've described in the book and that can be sources of strength for people. So yes, we want to you. make sure we can get you, you know, in place to make so we can, people need to read and understand your book. So we'd love to be an asset for you that way. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank Very you good. so much for. So her book is available everywhere mm -hmm. and it's going to be on our uh, readers mm -hmm. list this holiday season. Uh, we, we, we hope Patricia will come back and uh, we can do more with this book. Right, uh, right, uh -huh. I think it's powerful. And Patricia, we do a women business empowerment event in March. And I think this would be perfect. Uh, yeah. So thank you for those of you streaming with us today and watching this broadcast. Uh, we want you to hit the bell. We want you to subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, so uh, we are growing each day and we want to thank you for watching uh, Patricia Love and uh and uh, we'll make sure everything is available in the comments below mm -hmm. um, very good very good very good moving forward